Hello guys, in this video we will show how we can hide and show the category title. There are some requirements uh, comes from the merchants whether to hide category titles or show them whatever the requirement is, uh, it depends on uh, their business logic. First of all, let's see how we are going to hide this category uh, title and see how we work it from from there first of all i will create a new module i'll name it as a category title it will be under training category title now and to module now this module will depend on the magento catalog module so we'll have sequence and then the module to the magento catalog that's it we're done with the module xml and we create the registration file live template i use now the module is created and does nothing so the only thing we can do to remove the tops the category title is create layout view view dot xml layout and then inside body then inside body reference block call it uh, this title name this is the title name it's on every page but this will apply on the catalog category view which is the category pages only and then i will say remove this will remove the title from the category page this is the only thing we need so if i go and do set up our grade now the module should be installed and we can see in profit from the config PHP file and this is the training category title now if I refresh you can see the title is gone it disappeared now we have this entry to remove title but also we have another one this is removed true this will be removed and also we can say display now if we leave as true it will return it back this is returned back we use display false and then Flash cache will also hide the category title. The difference between the display and remove display, the this block is still in the layout but is not rendered. But when you say remove true, the remove true will remove the block from the layout. When the layout is initialized, this will remove the block totally from the layout. When we use the display false, the, the block will stay in the layout object. So it's already in there so it's not removed but it's not displayed it's not rendered so this is the difference between using the remove and the display however this maybe is not what the merchant want because one the title is gone so when google crawls the page it cannot find the title so rather than removing the content it just needs to be hidden so to hide this title is best to be handled by css rather than using the layout and then remove it completely because this has an impact a seo impact on the page the best thing is to use the css and then hide the title because if we inspect there will be no as tops in the title will come with the paid title wrapper class and this is not found this is removed so i think best is to remove it or to hide it by css rather than remove it completely from the page we need to do is we have to make this display as true we should remove it but we don't want to remove it right now so we just keep it as display as true and then we just remove cache and then refresh now if i come to inspect title and then you can see page title wrapper and the title is within it as a h1 this h1 is the title of the page and it makes sense in terms of seo to leave it and to let google crawl the page and has this information rather than remove it completely from the page but we need to hide it so the best way to hide it is using the css using the css inside front end we need to create web directory and then css and then source inside source we need the underscore module dot less module dot less and then what we need to do and then we target the target pages the target pages can be to target the pages we can use the the class category uh, sorry catalog category view you can see the same as the action rather and then say display none i think this is it this is how we are going to hide title by the CSS. Great. Now this is finished. Let's have 
refresh the page title is gone is hidden but it's not completely re removed from the page if you inspect element and then we have to search for the wrapper and you can see the title is already there this is the top so if we just go here you can see it's already there but it's hidden by css which makes sense that google crawlers will come to the page and grab the title this is a very useful in terms of the seo this is the best way of hiding or removing the category titles from the category pages however there is one scenario where the client comes and say i want these category pages to hide their title their title but not all of the categories just certain categories so this is how we are going to do to toggle category title show or hide so first of all we don't need the layout update this is not useful to us anymore because this is just a generic and it applies to all categories and we don't want it now we have the css this is will work fine but it works also on all category pages so we will have to do some modification in order to target certain categories rather than uh, all categories first of all i need to set up a new attribute and i call it hide title let's go ahead and do that and then and then we just data add those return empty array i'm not going to do anything here so i will have the implementation on this method and make it the first one and now I need a couple of classes in the constructor. One is the EAV setup factory factory and then module setup module data setup factory. And then in the apply, I'm going to use this code. So I use this code. This is how I set up the uh, new attribute. Uh, it's subtype int, the label height title the import is boolean the source is boolean as well and then everything as you can see is all the configuration this will be displayed in the play set so this is one of the things and the other thing i need to do is in view i will have a new i component i will need category form let's go and see in the catalog this module copy everything in here here not one and this is it if i now run setup upgrade possible to process constructor arguments here required engine to eav setup should be this so again now we have the setup upgrade now if we go to the site i will go to the admin and make sure the the attribute is installed correctly and you can enable and disable the hide title or you can hide and show the hide title so i'm just running the admin i will log in and see now if i go to the category i will target the top swimming play you can see there is a hide title i can set it no so this is first of all is being set as yes i don't want it to be yes and see this is it hide title tops then enable it when i when i say hide as yes hide title as yes i want to see the this is as hidden and when i say when i set it to no i want to see it as disabled let's go to the module list and then disable this run setup great i'm just giving it underscore so it's not found it's, it's not going to find it and then it will be always visible always as a displayed as block or in block or whatever so it's not display as none now we have the title back how are we going to apply this when i say set the high title to yes i want this to disappear so first of all let's have a look at the vendor magento module theme in the front end templates html and then there is a title and in this one there is block get class css class i think i will i am interested in this property the css class however how i'm going to add extra classes to the page wrapper page title wrapper 
so I can target it and hide it. First of all, the event I'm going to use layout when the when all blocks are created. So let's have a look. I see on the front end scope, I events dot XML into events, and then the events is core layout block create after the name is toggle instance will be so this is the observer i'm going to create in this class uh, namespace and then implement this so the execute method let's have a look at this event and see what is getting us if i search for it this code you will see here this is run on the block generator and once the block sets the layout it will dispatch this event with the block instance block object so i will be getting the block from the event from the observer so basically here i will get block equals observer get block i need to do the actual implementation for it from the block i will get full action name pulls block get request because the block has the request object you can get this full action name the name of the block block name say block get name in layout i want the current category i'm running on so i will need it inside a constructor and the current category comes from this object from this class resolver so i will just initialize it category equals this resolver get get current category so these three information i want i can hide title only when these three condition met the full action i will say if full action name equals catalog category view and the block name equals will will equals page main title page main title that's the block name and then current category get hide title equals true of course this will have as a string so I can just cast it as boolean and wrap it by brackets. If this condition met, then I can hide it. The way I can hide it, I will have another here. Category toggle category class name CSS class. We just say toggle because we are within the category. I will name it as category title hidden. Category title hidden so i'm creating this and then if we go to the title we can see we can make use of this and then go to our observer css class if class then you give a space if not you don't give it space so basically i don't need to create this one but i want to be here and here block that css class since we have get then there is set this will set it and then whatever comes from the css and then uh, the css i think this is it this is how we do it refresh the page after flushing the cache i will see page title wrapper and then beside it some class some class name so i will see this remove cache set up upgrade so if we don't have any errors we should see this you can see there is because this is enabled you can see this class is already injected from the observer we injected this class when the category page is of this action and the block name is of this block this is the page and then this is true if we go to the top disable it, the set the height title to no now if we refresh page and then inspect again it's gone if we set it to yes then it's came back based on this title we can uh, on this class we can target this class and then make the category title to set it to hidden or not we copy the class
class, we go to the CSS, basically this. So we target this page title wrapper when both classes are exist in the HTML element, then display as known. Now we just set up our grade. Now if we refresh, so no need to inspect now. You can see it's hidden. We go back to the display settings. We set the height title to no, save, showing. We set it back to yes, save, it's hidden. Set it back to no. And it's showing. Let's set it one last time as yes to hidden. And then refresh is gone. Now if I go to button buttons, buttons is already displayed, but if I go to tops, it's hidden. You can see tops, it's hidden, buttons showing. If I go to any other categories are showing, but only on this because I've set it to hidden to yes and it's hidden and this is it. This is how we uh, did it using the CSS rather than the uh, layout. So I think this is it and expect more and I see you in the next video.